Hey, hey! Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. Thank you so much for all of your lovely support in the first episode, my friends. Reaching over 1,100 likes. I really appreciate the support, folks. And a huge welcome to all of the new subscribers lately. I really appreciate you guys giving my content a chance. So, we're going to start off with a bit of a snooze. And then we are going to channel our inner pirate pythonator. Oh, yeah. we got ourselves an ocean here, which is full of goodies and treasure maps. So we're going to grab ourselves a chest boat and we're going to get ourselves out into the seas. So there we are, a little bit of a chest boat and a little bit of a pro tip for any of you guys who don't know. Grab yourself some doors and you've got yourself a permanent underwater air pocket. And yeah, just to show you guys real quick, I've gone ahead finally and organized all of my items. We've got blocks in this chest, we've got decorative stuffs in here, we've got ourselves greenery and foliage, we've got food items and then we've got valuables in here. So there. Then out into the ocean we go. <laughs> okay, this could go from 0 to 100 in a matter of seconds. All we'd need to have happen is for there to be, oh, I don't know, a drowned with a trident. And we might have ourselves a bit of an interesting time, eh? So then, let's see what we find first. Oh, hello, I have indeed found something. It appears to be a singular ocean ruin. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, does this have a treasure chest in it? Ah. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because it's quite a nice alternative to doing a classic mining trip underground. We can go grab ourselves a whole bunch of valuables. We can get diamonds from treasure chests and even some of the chests in the shipwrecks. The other reason we're exploring via the waterways here is because early game, it really is one of the greatest ways to explore a large amount of your world in a relatively short amount of time. So, for example, we've got to a few things going on here. We've got ourselves another abandoned portal ruin over there. We've got ourselves what appears to be a jungle biome over there. That's pretty cool. And we've got ourselves a shipwreck. So we are going to start off with this portal ruin. What are we going to have in here? Ah, a whole bunch of nothing, basically. Curse of Vanishing. I mean, I'll take the flint and steel and indeed the chest. The best use for this sword, in my opinion, is to smelt it down into a singular gold nugget. <laughs> I gotta say, I I really do love sparse jungle biomes. I think it's one of my more favorite biomes that's been introduced in the recent few updates. It's just such a nice place to be. The grass is really lush green. There's not a great deal of jungle trees that you need to get out of the way in order to prepare the land for building. So yeah, I kind of like it. I like it a lot, in fact. Anyway, my friends, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a thing here. Uh, ah, okay, interesting. We have to dig this out a little bit in order to reveal access to the chest of epicness. And if we pop up here, look at that. We've got ourselves a little bit of an air pocket next to the fence here. <laughs> and would you look at that? Epic! We've got ourselves our first diamond of the entire series. So digging out this room should reveal the treasure map room. So, yep, there we have it. Our first treasure map of the entire series. I'm excited to go see what kind of lootsy doodles we have. And the final chest on this boat should be the so-called supply chest, right? We'll pop on down here. And what do you know? We've got some moss. We've got poisonous potatoes. Literally the only use for poisonous potatoes is to do that one advancement where you have to eat every single food item item in the game, even if it's bad for you. Although then again, can't you compost these things? Maybe they have a couple of uses. I would still never make a conscious effort to go get myself poisonous potatoes, but they're not completely without uses, right? Anyways, my friends, it is time to head towards the X on the map. All right, my friends, for any of you guys who don't know the 9-9 trick, you do F3, you look on the left-hand side, the second block of text down. And what we're going to be looking at is the line that says block. The numbers in the bracket it is your location within the current chunk you're in. So what we need to do is get ourselves to 9-9. Nine, nine. So here we are. 9-9 nine, nine is this block we're now on. And all we need to do is dig down. And there you go. Chest. It works every single time. 9-9 nine, nine within a chunk, on Java Edition anyway, is going to be where you always get treasure chests. <laughs> and look at that. We've got potions of water breathing as well. That's actually pretty big. I like that. Got ourselves another boat here, which sadly only appears to be, what, half a boat? Huh. Well, I can only hope that we wind up with a treasure chest. Ooh! 
Hello, Arbitrims. Don't mind if I do. Is that what I think it is? I think it is. It is... Oh, it's not. I thought it was an ocean temple. And I was about to ask how stupid of an idea would it be for me to try and take down an ocean temple on episode two. But actually, look at he do. It's another ruin. Hmm. Well, here's hoping for perhaps another treasure map. Yeah, Monster Hunter. That sounds like me. <laughs> All right, so down to the ruin we go. For any of you guys who don't know, of course, with 1.20 came suspicious sand and you brush it so you can get yourself a whole bunch of random loot. But unfortunately, we don't have any brushes on us, so um, we can't do any brushing here. What we can do, though, is see if we can't find ourselves a little bit of a treasure chest. I'd like to hope so. Also, let's put down a door and boom. There we have it. We've got ourselves a bit of an air pocket. Ah, there's the treasure chest hidden under here, is it? I see how it is, Minecraft. I see how it is. Right, let me go ahead and do a little bit of a thing. Get ourselves into this air pocket and then we can open this up. And what do we have? We've got a little bit of lure too. That's kind of meh. Oh, Snappers, another one of these bad boys, is it? The reason I'm so excited about finding these here abandoned portal frames is because relatively recently, I found a notch apple in one of the chests. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe at some point in the series, I could try to find myself another one. It'll be kind of epic if I could get it in this series. Another shipwreck. Okie dokie then. Right, what are we going to have? Are we going to have ourselves a treasure room? I don't believe we are. I could be wrong, though. Okay, not bad. We've got a few bits and bobs in here. All right, a new type of wood, my friendos, for our building collection. Just need to get a sapling, and then we've essentially got infinite acacia wood. Hey, at least there's another treasure map within here. That's pretty cool. Right, is it a different one? It is. Okay, we need to go in a southwestern direction for this one. So, again, 9-9 nine nine trick means that the chest should be directly beneath us. And there it is. <laughs> oh, I do love it when a plan comes together. There we are. More diamonds. We've got enough diamonds for a diamond pick now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Look at our pirate stash now. Not a bad load of loot here, my friends. Might it be worth us getting some bamboo? Yeah, I would say so. This is 1.20 at the end of the day. We have ourselves an entirely new set of wood-like furniture bits and bobs we can make with this here bamboo. So, yeah, I think the earlier we get a bamboo farm set up, the better things are going to be. The more building resources and blocks we'll be able to build with. If I was to make a pair of shears as well, I'm sure you guys know where I'm going with this. We can pick up some of these vines here as well. Even more decorative building supplies. And of course, let's not forget about the jungle wood and jungle saplings themselves. Won't lie, kind of wishing I set up my first base here. I love this place. Look how green it is. <laughs> it's so nice though. Oh, I almost forgot. Cocoa beans. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? A place for me to seek refuge for the night and steal a bed from? Um, yeah, we're gonna not do that. Not at all, in fact. Oh, no way. Tall grass. Isn't this like a stupidly rare item in the game that you can only ever find in villages? I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> and yeah, as if by magic, I have an orange bed. I don't know where that came from. Not at all, in fact. This house has always been empty. Oh, nice. A brewing stand. Don't mind if I do that, son. I am most definitely having that. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff to take. <laughs> what have we got in here? Grass. A bucket? I didn't know you could get buckets as loot. That's actually kind of cool because I need a bucket. Thanks. Ooh, melons. Yeah, you know what? That'd actually be kind of useful, huh? I mean, we can use these pumpkins to get pumpkin seeds. We get ourselves some melons. We can make ourselves, what, glistering melons for instant health pots. Ah, oh, leather worker's house. I was kind of hoping for maybe a saddle. 
then we would have finished off our horse kit that we half obtained in the first episode. Oh, nice. A second piece of long grass. Alrighty, that's just about it for that little village. Not done too bad in terms of bits and bobs we've gotten from it, I guess. Alright, my friends, I'm thinking one more shipwreck and hopefully treasure map that comes from it, and then we'll probably head back to base. Only I'm starting to run out of inventory space quite badly at this point. It's times like this, I really wish we had the bundle in game. You remember the bundles? Some of you might not even know what I'm talking about. For a little bit of time in Minecraft, there were bundles that you could put little bits and bobs into, up to a stack of 64's worth, I believe. But they still haven't been properly implemented yet. They have been an experimental toggle item for the longest time. Are we ever actually going to get bundles? Hmm? Is it going to happen? I'd like to hope so. Nice! Yet another kind of wood we can take back to base. Dark Oak. Oh boy. I really don't have a lot of space at all anymore. <laughs> I'm going to have to prioritise items now. I don't quite know how we've managed it, but uh, we're actually heading back towards zero, 00 and the flower forest. Look, it's a spawn flower forest. Eventually, I'm definitely going to be doing some building in this flower forest. It is my favourite biome of all time at the end of the day, so... Yeah, I mean, like, why wouldn't I? Seriously. Also, look at this. It looks to be a mostly fully formed shipwreck. At least to the point where all three treasure chests are in here. What have we got here? We've got iron, gold, and... Well, actually, that's just about it for that particular chest. What we're looking for more than anything, though, of course is the treasure map chest. Oh, hey, some more armor trims too. Hey, don't mind if I do. Ugh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these poison potatoes, but after I've gone ahead and consumed one. So, yeah, just sprinting around, trying to get my hunger to deplete a little bit. I'll numb on one of these and chuck the rest. So I've got another inventory slot. That's what I'm doing this for, mostly. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, wait, I didn't get poisoned? Okay, I genuinely thought it was guaranteed that you would get poisoned if you ate a poison potato. Huh, I learned something new today, my friends. How about that? You know what? As much as we haven't found, like, a great deal of super valuable stuff, in terms of sort of regular resources that we can make farms out of, oh man, we have got a lot of stuff here. We've got carrots, we've got potatoes, pumpkins, melons, we've got a bunch of different types of trees and wood. This has been a pretty fruitful endeavor, I would say. We've managed to get a lot of stuff here, haven't we? All right, yet another unique map. Epic! We need to go pretty much directly south. If we're going directly south, we might accidentally wind up very, very near our base. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just past these mountains, in fact. The final time, 9-9 nine, nine trick, that'll be this block here. And... Wait, hang on. Where are you, you son of a gun? Wait, is this thing, like, really, really far down? Ah, well now, that would probably do it, eh? <laughs> I've already had this treasure chest. No! Ah, well. Bit of an unfortunate end to this little pirate pythonator trip, but, uh, you know, we still haven't done bad, have we? We really haven't, and we're already relatively nearby our base, so let's go home. Yeah, finally back to base, my friends, having a nice, well-deserved snooze before unloading all of the various bits and bobs that we managed to get in today's episode. And oh man, is that a lot of stuff. Go on, drop me a copper ingot so in the next episode I can do a little bit of brushing. Come on, come on. Oh, he gave me one. <laughs> oh, I bet I couldn't call that again. Heck yeah. I mean, come on. When we started the episode, we didn't have a lot of this stuff, did we? We didn't have this amount of food. We certainly didn't have this amount of valuable stuff here as well. So yeah, as much as this episode hasn't been very hardcore in that we haven't really done anything overly dangerous... We've gotten ourselves a lot of stuff ready to do stuff with. You know what I mean? We've got a lot of farms we could probably make a start on now as a result of grabbing all of the saplings and bits and bobs you see in here, for example. Before wrapping up today's episode, I thought it might be a fun idea to actually put these coast armor trims on this iron armor. The question is, what do we use? Do we use gold for a little bit of yellow? 
or do we use something else? Can you even use coal? I have absolutely no idea. I'd like to try to add a bit of black to the coast armor trim. Ah, oh, darn it. No, you can't. There's got to be some other way you can put an armor trim on and make it black. Let me go ahead and check out the wiki real quick. Ah! Turns out we would need netherite ingots if we wanted to put black armor trims on. So do you know what? We're going to go bling blang, proper pirate, and we're going to put a little bit of gold on, okay? I think this might even wind up being the first ever time I've worked with armor trims in Minecraft. Not even in my normal Let's Play series do I think I've gone for the goal of putting armor trims on. So let's have a look at ourselves, our pirate loadout of epicness. <laughs> oh, we look amazing. I love this. So then, my friends, on that epic bling-blang note, it is time to wrap up the second episode here of Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's nice loot-filled episode, I'd appreciate it, of course, if you'd head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new around here, of course, and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of your support as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.